with the video title Doberman versus Mailman. I think we're all expecting there's a dog at this street address who is really tired of seeing this mailman and today it's going to deliver him a final message of its own to stay away. The mailman slowly approaches. Clearly, he's dealt with this Doberman before, but as the Doberman isn't doing the same slow approach, he quickly turns around and is soon being chased, running for his life. The dog catches up quickly and appears to snatch something from him and heads back to the house. The mailman's demeanor switches from terrified to looking like he's having a fun time. So maybe he was in on this from the start, or maybe he's happy the Doberman didn't try to snatch an arm or leg instead. A YouTuber named Silent X Snails is having a bad day on his way to work that's about to get worse. First, he drops his phone on the highway, and then a simple mistake almost takes his life. I want to know who you think was at fault here. Silent X Snails is trying to drive between the cars, called lane splitting, which is legal where he lives in California. The driver doesn't have their turn single on way in advance, so I guess Silent X Snails must have missed it because he doesn't seem to slow down. He does come out from behind this flatbed truck, so I can understand why the driver didn't see him. But at the same time, I think they should have double checked their side mirror before changing lanes to avoid this exact kind of scenario. Okay, so you're probably wondering how a bug this small could possibly be creepy. But as the camera comes into focus, it reveals the distinct markings of a human face imprinted on the back of a flesh colored shell. This still shot gives a much better look at this human faced insect. The nose is a perfect distance from its smiling mouth, and the eyes even have tiny brows over them. All of the features are perfectly symmetrical and look almost hand-painted, which is far-fetched, yet sounds equally as impossible as crediting this to happening naturally. So based on what you've seen, do you think this was the work of humankind or nature? This unfriendly local clown stands outside of a house in Wakusha, Wisconsin, in an orange jumpsuit for long periods of time, seemingly for no other reason than to get a reaction out of whoever comes near. And that creepy gnarled tree behind him only makes this picture twice as eerie. You can tell by the door frame that this picture was taken in the safety of someone's car. The way he slowly turns with his feet firmly planted reminds me of Jason or any other slow moving slasher. His family says that he poses no real threat, but at the same time they can't get him to stop doing it, even at the behest of police. If I lived in that neighborhood, I wouldn't take my chances and walk past. Thank you so much for getting me to 5,000 subscribers on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers. Thank you.